Michael Gove's Cambridge plan for 300,000 square meters of research space in Cambridge um, and something that will be realized by 2040 with 150,000 new homes to service this expanded science sector is, well, it, it, it's sort of absurd. Lee Rowley, another Conservative MP, the housing minister, has said, it's a great British success story, but the problem is nothing has actually happened. So it's not a success story, and in fact, it's hit a um, it's hit a water infrastructure, uh, not a science park, in fact, but an instance of uh, insience, a desert of arid reality in what Gove boasts will be a major new quarter of the city. I know Cambridge with beautifully integrated neighbourhoods and protecting green spaces. The rhetoric, the rhetoric that. Uh, Gove provides, ticks all the boxes, but the reality is um, desiccated, lifeless, parched absurdity. Gove might as well be planning the fabrication of a fallacious ferritory, an arenaceous testament to his absurdity. The housing minister says there's no excuse for not acting. I think there is an excuse. It's called a lack of water. It's a fairly substantial excuse. And the Labour leader of Cambridge City Council says Gove has ignored reality as Cambridge is already struggling to deliver 50,000 planned buildings because of a problem with meeting the water supply. Odd in the Fens. I was brought up in the Fens. But uh, there again, it's odd that having wrecked Oxford with overdevelopment, anyone should stand up to challenge plans to decimate Cambridge in a similar fashion. Bridget Smith, the Lib Dem leader in... Uh, the South Cambridgeshire District Council says that she has run out of water. And Mike Davy says Gove's plan for 150,000 new homes is nonsense. Of course it's nonsense. In December, uh, this is what the levelling up department under Michael Gove said. We have been clear, so you know that you, you, you know that's a, that's a prelude to some fanciful fantasy. Uh, we have been clear that the government is on the side of the builders and not the blockers. Councils must play their parts and deliver the homes this country needs without concreting over the countryside. The housing secretary has already told councils that they need to step up and we are providing a lot of support to help them do so. So... Uh, those that continue to drag their feet can expect to face government intervention. So uh, a lot of this is about a challenge between government and councils. Um, it's an ideological problem. Councillor uh, Neth Singer questions the imposition of such a top-down Gove diktat, driving up not only opposition to the plan, simply because Gove is uh, presenting it, but also the development of um, driving up. Uh, so drive, driving up opposition and driving down the development itself. It doesn't help. Um, and uh, neither, I mean, if you, if you want to embrace dry humour, given the lack of water, you could say that um, the existence or the development of a delivery plan um, is is not um, is is not that helpful. How do you develop a delivery plan? Transport, water, energy all fail in the Go vision. And Bridget Smith talks about reinventing things and then failing to deliver. The the the, the whole thing is a catalogue of failure. And one of the one of the failures, uh, which lies at the heart of all the failure, is that nobody has um, thought about investing in developing a new reservoir. Uh, rather than building HS2, should we not be building a, a new reservoir? That would um, get rid of a few farms. Uh, there'd be a few farms that would be upset about that, but probably far less farms would be upset about the building of a new reservoir than were upset about the creation of HS2, that vanity project going nowhere, nowhere starting nowhere, and actually not getting where it was expected to go. You know, the whole thing, is absurd. Anyway, a little bit of, of absurdity in Cambridge.